Novak Djokovic may have a stadium named after him at the Australian Open. Australian Open tournament director Craig Tiley says he would be supportive of a Melbourne Park stadium being named after Novak Djokovic. The world number one and reigning Australian Open champion is the most decorated men's singles player at the tournament, winning 10 times. Djokovic goes into the inaugural Grand Slam of 2024 as the big favourite to win an 11th Australian Open. The 36-year-old's name could forever be etched into Melbourne grounds, with speculation that he could have a stadium renamed in his honour. However, renaming the arenas at Melbourne Park is not simple, meaning Djokovic may need to wait to have a stadium named after him. Unlike Wimbledon, the French Open and the US Open, Tennis Australia does not own the facilities and instead leases them from the Victorian government. It means that Tiley cannot simply sign off on the name change of a stadium. You're the second person who's asked me that today, Tiley, who is also CEO of Tennis Australia, said on the latest episode of the Rock and Roll Tennis Podcast when asked if Djokovic will have a stadium named after him. Look, I mean, ultimately the naming of the arena is not my decision, nor Tennis Australia's. A lot of people don't really understand that Wimbledon and the French and the US Open, they own the facility in which they run their events. We lease it, and the government, the Victorian government, owns our facilities, and we lease the facilities from them, and we are fortunate that they invest in those facilities, but we don't own them. Yeah, the government, they do a great job on the precinct and it's a great infrastructure the government's put together. It's magnificent, but it's a different construct to the other event. So naming of an arena would be a combination of input that would have to happen. But I would certainly be a supporter of recognizing Novak in some way. Unbelievable achievements here in Australia. Djokovic has struggled with a wrist injury in the build-up to the Australian Open. He was dumped out of the United Cup in a shock defeat by Alex de Menor this week, halting a 43-match winning run on Australian soil. I knew that probably, I am, not going to be at 100% physically, emotionally, mentally game-wise in the opening week of a season, Djokovic reflected afterwards. Neither did I expect that. I was not on my level, but it was just one of these days where I didn't feel my best on the court, and, my, opponent played very well. That's all I can say. I think it'll be okay, to be honest. It did have quite an impact, particularly on the forehand and serve. I have plenty of time, I think enough time to get myself in the right shape for the Australian Open.